This is a two to two and a half mile round trip trail with about 200 feet in elevation gain. From Highway 20, turn onto Mooney Flat Road in Smartsville, California, and left into the Black Swan parking lot. Go right through the clearly marked trail as it passes through a gated fence with a huge moss-covered boulder just beyond it. Follow the trail as it climbs upslope on a series of gradual switchbacks. This is a good place to hike in the spring when there's snow in the Sierra. Green grass grows up the hillsides and wildflowers bloom. The buckeyes are unfolding and putting forth their pointy white blooms. As you climb, you'll notice a lot of rounded gravel in the bank cuts. This is a gold-bearing stream system 60 million years ago. When this rich mining ground was discovered in 1853, it was mined intensively for the next 31 years and then periodically into the 1930s. When the trail levels out, it begins to follow a ditch which once delivered water to nearby hydraulic mines. Water was directed under pressure by large nozzles at hillsides containing ancient ferrous gravels. They saturated the hillside in order to collapse the compacted gold-bearing soils into a slurry of mud and gravel. Use caution hiking on this man-made steep cliff. Don't go too close to the edge. At the bottom is a shallow pond, which was once the bottom of a hydraulic pit or drain tunnel. It's now a good habitat for plant and animal life. From here, the trail slowly descends to the pond. At the lower elevation is an intact wetland that is critical habitat for the western pond turtle, as well as bass, an array of waterfowl, including the American Dipper and Belted Kingfisher. The day I hiked here, I saw a couple of spectacular vultures lazily circling around the cliffs. There are a great many areas to picnic or take a quick nap on the grassy edge of the pond. Two horned grebes with red necks and a black and white head swam around the far side of the pond. A lone Canada goose stood on the shallow edge and bathed. He honked when two more geese landed but was left alone when they flew off for a more secluded area. Hopefully, the goose found his mate later that day. In 1904, the Black Swan Company owned the former Deer Creek Mine. They recovered $100,000 by sinking shafts and tunneling under the 40-foot deep lake, which caved in. Luckily, no one was hurt. Curious, I looked up Black Swan. It's an expression used to describe an unexpected event with bad consequences. This event would be clear upon hindsight. Knowing about the mine cave-in appears the name is fitting. Keep your adventure safe and avoid encountering the black swan. Thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up and click on subscribe.